What is going on, bros? Welcome back to another video. We are right now at the PC farm. This is my farm. But in today's video, we're gonna actually visit more YouTubers' farms. I did this video a couple weeks ago and it completely blew up. It was kind of like a little test on my channel. Do people wanna see other YouTubers' houses? And clearly that's a yes. So I'm gonna do it again and many more times from here. Just keep on smashing that like button, subscribing to the channel, and let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Before we get any further, let me tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a long time now, you know I am a big fan of Manscaped and the Performance Package Kit, which is the world's first all-in-one men's grooming kit that makes trimming the hedges efficient and easy. I'm excited to announce that Manscaped just released a new in-shower solution specifically designed for men. The new body wash by Manscaped is a premium daily shower gel scented with Manscaped's refined cologne and features a luxurious lather for any skin type. Just like all the liquid products in the Manscaped collection, it has cologne quality fragrance that is both subtle and masculine and lasts. It's infused with aloe vera and sea salt, so it gives a perfect balance of tough, cleaning, and soothing hydration. Keep your skin clean, fresh, moisturized, and reinvigorated without over dry. The 16 ounce bottle has a convenient pump top to measure that perfect amount of body wash needed for a head to toe coverage. The refined body wash is a vegan formula that is both nourishing and gentle on the skin. Made specifically for men to have that all day fresh feeling smelling, you know what I'm saying? The refined body wash is parable free and cruelty free. No dyes or harmful chemicals. The new refined body wash is the ultimate complement to your in-shower routine. After you cleanse your body with the refined body wash, grab your lawnmower 4.0, the waterproof body trimmer, and shave while your skin is smooth and correctly prepped for shaving. Now be sure to opt in for the Manscaped's Peak Hygiene Plan so that you never run out of your favorite Manscaped products. Get monthly or quarterly replenishments on Manscaped's body wash without the hassle. Delivered straight to your doorstep. Thank you Manscaped for stepping up my shower game. Now go to manscaped.com slash Paul and get 20% off plus free shipping. That is 20% off using code Cafero at manscaped.com. Thank you so much Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, enjoy. Today we're actually flying to Texas and visiting, well I've, I've been to one of them, but two, the second one I've never met in my life and I've never been to in my life. So it's gonna be awesome. I'm literally sitting here at the PC farm right now, my place, prior to going there, and Gary. I'm not portraying you, he's just, someone else has the same species as you. Kevin, what up Kev? Here we go. Woo! And they all eat. 4,000 gallon. It's been a bit since I visited this one on the channel. I just fed them live fish, so it's a bit murky. Look how big our gar is now. Look at the red tails, how flipping big they are. We got the koi fish, the platinums are absolutely massive. There's the other platinum over there. Plecos, all of our Oscars, and literally in a line, there's more koi fish. I mean, everything is getting so, so big. There's the baby red tail. Everything is uh, doing very, very well, though. <laughs> What's going on? You guys are over here at the paw coupon or something? We've got, uh, all sorts of species in here, as you know, but we're gonna show you. Or not. <laughs> no, here we go. Here they come up now. They're showing up. Woohoo! Gosh, they're like missiles. Look at that. Jeez. That was a beast. I guarantee you that's one of my little yellow bellies that I've released out here. Anyway, that's the Paw Coupon. This thing is one of my favorites to feed, that's for sure. And guess who's doing better? Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne, here, bud. Yeah, eat up, buddy. I'm so happy to see you. Ow, what the heck, Mango? That wasn't cool of you. If you didn't know, Suzanne, I had to keep in the cage a couple nights ago for a couple days that he was not uh, all there on his feet. He was a little wobbly. He was so I just decided to put him in the cage and keep fresh water and food with him until he healed up himself. Lady May loves her scratches. Oh, ow! Oh. This happened before, Lady May. You know you weigh like 300 pounds and it doesn't feel good on my ribs, I can tell you that. Ah. She just wants to give hugs, I, I promise you. I don't think she's doing the other thing. I think she's just hugging because she's not moving, you know? Can you believe I have 26 pigs? That's just, that's incredible. Hey, we're a pig rescue. Here you go. Yeah. Whee! Now enough of my farm. Without further ado, let's get this day started. Let's head over to our two YouTubers we're visiting today and they're both located in Texas. So you gotta head to the airport. <laughs> Dallas, Texas. 
So one of the places we're visiting today is the Dallas Fort Worth Airport. It has a fish tank. It's not actually one of the places we're visiting, but it does have a cool fish tank. That's cool. I like that a lot. Let's keep going. <laughs> Wait, I'm with you? Hey! This entire time. Yeah, we've been together this whole time. Oh. First stop, Brenton's house. <laughs> we are here at my boy Brenton's house, also known as Fanatic. He has a YouTube channel, of course. That's linked in the description. Who's this? Muffin. Muffin. Oh, you got a nice uh, sack on you. You're gonna breed him? Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's going He's in. gonna be breeding soon. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Oh, you are so cute. He's a, he falls over real quick. You are so cute. He's like a little hog in a way. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's not. Yeah, he's out. Hey buddy. It's a mix between a coon coon and just your I can see the coon coon in him. Yeah. Muffin? Muffin? Muffin. Maple's now looks like waddles now. So we got four pigs. Unfortunately, three geese. I can hear the geese, dude. They don't just shut up, do they? They don't. They don't. Two, or actually, three goats, two alpacas, and a coat of Monday. Let's go in there. Let's see them all. A coat of Monday. Something really cool about this backyard in specific is it's like a residential area. I don't even know how the heck you're allowed to have geese screaming like that you're in your not. backyard. You're not? Nope. Okay, never mind. All right, we are in the enclosure. Oh my gosh, it looks so similar. Hey! Hey! This is this is Waddles. Yep. Who's this one? Maple. Maple. Yep. Maple. You were a little pig last time I saw you. This is the boar. This is this is the coon coon. Yeah, that's the boar right there. That's oh oh oh. That's the coon coon. You see the difference in pig right there. Hey, buddy, you are so cute. I gotta look how tiny you are compared to these guys. Hey, I have uh, 26 of you at home, so nothing new, nothing new, but beautiful, beautiful. I love the coon coon. Super cute pig. We should feed him. Would you shut the? F that's Gary. No, Gary. That's Bobby. Gary. It's Bobby. It's Gary. It's Bobby. Gary. It's Bobby. Gary. It's Bobby. Gary. It's Bobby. Ow! 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 Okay. 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 Oh my God. Ow! Well. Oh, there's chickens. Look at the chickens dusting themselves. Oh my gosh, it's so difficult to film when you're screaming. Do you have food to feed those stupid geese? Who's this one over here? Pickle Boots. An Oreo. So Steven, Pickle Boots, Oreo, and then these are the two alpacas. Russell! Russell! That's Russell and Craig. I am actually going to get alpacas eventually, at some point. I want to get alpacas and emu, it's my two animals, and they're both actually really good in protecting the animals at the farm. Coyotes don't like either one of those species. And they have a Suzanne, a different type of Suzanne. Yeah, we call her Suzanne sometimes. No, you don't. Yeah, we do. There is no replacement of Suzanne. And there's also this really cool shed that he built. This is nice. Nice place for the animals to stay dry and... Yeah, unfortunately, it could be hailing. They still won't come in here, they'll stay out there. I don't know why. Typical farm animals. Yeah, I know. Now, see, what are we about to see behind you here? So, this is Walter, my uh, Coda the, Monday. My white nosed Coda Monday. He is awesome. He's like a, a monkey mixed with a raccoon mixed with a small person. He's very smart, and uh, you put your head down next to him. My head? Your head. Like, just get down next to him. Hey, look at, look at, look at his no, little you gotta, nose. You gotta put your head next to him. Hey! Oh there my gosh. Go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh! There you go. Go, ah, Walter. Oh. Get it, Walter. Ah. Yeah. Oh, he's a big fan. Oh, what is this? Yeah. What's, what's with his uh, obsession with hair? He loves hair. Really? Yep. He's I gonna, can tell. He's going to try and bring you in here in just a moment. Oh, God. Yeah, he's actually licking oh. you. Um, oh, jeez. So, yeah, go, oh. Walter. Dude, Dude he's Walt. so cute. Yeah, he's he's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. Hey. So. Dude, you are freaking adorable. It sounds crazy, but we normally let him run around back here. He'll go through this fence because he can fit through. And he won't run away. He'll just play in these trees. He'll go by the pond. So he's normally out. But uh, all the other geese are right here right now. So we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> this is a cool enclosure. Yeah, he, he loves it in here. Just destroyed. Yeah, it. he destroyed his rope. Like it's hair. Oh God, Walter, Walter. Look at these chickens. Oh, I scared you. Sorry, Walter. Oh, Absolutely got... fantastic meeting all your animals. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. It's a little weird. I don't know what my neighbors think, to be honest. They're dude, right there. If I was your neighbor, I'd want to shoot the goose over the fence. Yeah, yeah, most people do want to shoot the goose. There's a nice backyard pond, kind of like the one in my mom and dad's house. There's actually a catfish we just rescued that's in there. Yeah. This is really nice, man. The water, uh, the water's pretty clear. It's just tinted from these leaves. They'll fall in there during the fall. 
and they'll just kind of like tint the water and make it like an auburn color. That's it for Fanatic's house. Super cool place, especially because it's like residential, so it's a little bit different than any other place we've ever checked out. Now, the next stop is somewhere I've never been, and I've also never met this guest. Never. And here on YouTube, he's pretty popular for having crazy memes and animals. Let's head over to our next location. This is the uh, daily driver to whose house we're at right now. If you watch this channel, you probably know exactly who this is. This is really cool. He's literally got a big old open property, nice little campsite. This is called the crack house. It's literally what he calls it. Oh my waterfowl. Did I go the wrong way? Oh my goodness. Okay. What's going on? Good. How are, How are you? you, man? It's great to meet you. Great to meet you too. Finally. It it's been a long time. Yeah, it has. What do you think of the place? This is Ben from Urban Rescue Ranch. He also has a channel, and today we're here to check out some of his animals. This is the first location, right? You have two houses. Yeah. Lots of waterfowl. Looks like you rescue a lot of ducks, huh? We do. All these guys are either from uh, from the city or they are eggs that we took from the park. Did you guys get your uh, fishing pole? Or no? So we got pretty close to driving, and then we realized... Do you want me to go get some? Because we can... Do you have any? I have some extra. That's perfect, then, because... <laughs> we forgot fishing do. rods, and one of the plans that were today to, to catch some cool fish. <laughs> Along with showing all Ben's animals here. You caught that white Chinese goose? Yeah. That's Gary. Oh, oh. We've seen a lot of Garys today. How high oh, is that? Yeah. Is that eight foot? Pretty good for doing it ourselves uh, <laughs> with zip ties. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah it's this is super cool. I love doing these visiting YouTubers uh, house videos because, well, we did one before and it performed great and that's why I'm doing another. But it's cool because you're seeing projects, you know, that maybe you weren't following Ben and now you know he has a dope place and you can come check it out. Yeah, we, Is this going to be open to the public? It, probably in like a year. It's yeah, gonna it's going to be a while, a while, but it is yeah. a commercial property. This is commercial, this is residential. So what we're going to do though is this is going to get turned into an actual facility for wildlife rehab. So we're gonna have you know baby white-tailed deer, possums, raccoons, all of those little things. Uh, and there's no rehabs anywhere in between Dallas and Austin. So anytime the exterminators get called for orphan possums, they'll usually just euthanize them. So we're gonna so now be, Ben's gonna be here. Yes, yeah, so now we're taking care of them. Flooded up. Who's this there. guy? We have a little boy named Kevin, uh, who's now a meme, and uh, he he's his less aggressive brother. Less aggressive brother much, Kyle here. Much less aggressive. We're ready to go fishing. Ben's down there already. He ran from us with his fanny pack. Oh! <laughs> ben ran from us with his fanny pack. This is a different version of visiting every YouTuber's house. I promise you, we're getting to his other property here in just a second. We gotta come fish this dam. Look at that. I gotta take my shoes off. There's like a million of these. You should be able to catch one in your first cast. Hey, that's a hybrid. Woo! Oh, yeah, baby. Let's just put it in my <laughs> See you later, buddy. Don't fall. Don't, oh, be careful now. Yeah. What is, what, what is that? A spotted bass. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today, we are fishing. I caught another one, spotted bass. Really cool. All right, buddy. All right, so me and Brenton have made the executive decision to slide down this before we leave. We have to. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. We just caught a soft shell. He's a little aggressive. Hey buddy, we are at your second property. Welcome. This is the original Earth. Oh my Rex. goodness. This is the baby, my son. <laughs> this is Kevin. Kevin. Uh, he used to be aggressive and he was going to be eaten, uh, but we took him and now he's not aggressive. Look at him. I did that. Oh, and Poggers and... is very happy. That's my son. Hey, but Poggers. They're all my son. Everything here is my son. Kevin, so this is a legit like ostrich, huh? No, it's a Rhea. So this is a Rhea. Rhea. South America. Chile and like Argentina. And they're the only ratite from the Americas. So the emus are from Australia, the ostrich is from Oh my America, gosh, dude. And the rhea is from the Americas. And the baby- You have a, a kangaroo, dude. And he's just from Australia. And the baby, the baby was, uh, was raised on a farm where they used them for meat and for leather. And, and the baby, by the way, is that kangaroo. Yes, yes. Also the hit rapper and artist, uh, 
who we love. But the baby is now, uh, now he's here and he's gonna live a long, happy life. Uh, basically as, as, as kind of a sanctuary animal uh, where he was going to go to a farm to be hunted and his mom got really sick and uh, because of that she couldn't finish bottle feeding him so I did and now he's not going to get shot on a ranch. Dude, he just casually has a kangaroo bouncing around his backyard in a suburb neighborhood. Dude, that is a massive egg. Yeah, it's a big boy. To give comparison, that's my hand. So the Kevin will make the nest and then he'll protect it. He'll actually hatch the eggs himself. And Do you then think he's that's gonna, gonna hatch? It. No, that one's not gonna hatch. No? That's an old one. Ah. I will watch after you. Come here. Hi. Hi. Oh, there's a bunny. Hi, bunny. That kangaroo doesn't even require a license in Texas. You don't even need one to like, you can take them to McDonald's. No, I've already, I've disassembled a lot of stuff that we had for the rescues, for bunnies and stuff. But I can open my window and then just from here, turn this on and refill all the water for all the animals. And, um, and that was the nicest thing whenever we had a ton of animals coming in, rescues in the spring, uh, we had like, 50 rabbits that came in from a uh, from a neglect situation where they were all and then you each just other's ears. Oh, yeah. oh wow! Oh, oh, but that then one. You, yeah, I saw him, my white one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's the cool thing about having Instagram and everything else. They they went so quickly. But I give Vinny a little bit of like the kibble that rabbits are supposed to eat, and she'll just go to town. I do this at once a day, a couple times a day, and then we did have some sulcata tortoises. But now I have a friend taking care of them because it's starting to get colder at night. Oh yeah, this bunny's happy with that grass. Yeah. There's two more things. You have quails. These are my quail. Uh, Julia is our TikTok famous quail. She's one of those little girls. Hey, it's all ducks. I have I two of you. That water probably about twice a week. That is it for the Urban Rescue Ranch. Oh wait, 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 there's one more thing. And these guys will just spawn here. She's like, get away from my baby. Since I've been in Waco so much, I haven't been collecting the eggs. So she hatches them, and it's fun to watch them naturally reproduce. Oh, the worm farm! <laughs> the worm farm. Dude, this is my no. This is my pride and joy. <laughs> oh, the worm farm! Wow. Holy moly! This is the best thing about the Urban Rescue Ranch. This is the greatest accomplishment I've ever made in my entire life. So what did it just start from larvae, I and then they bro, just bred in this, here? This all happened unintentionally. I wasn't even trying. I didn't like put oh them in here or anything. Gosh, dude. These are, I think they're called black soldier fly larvae. Perfect for chickens. Oh, it's, watch this. And ducks. Watch this. Just grab them like that. I just give them to the, ew, ew, ew. Oh my gosh. I just give them to the quail and they freak out. They've already got a bunch of food in there, but I'll wait till they figure it out. It might take a little bit, but yeah. Oh, 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 here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Low enrichment. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, they're not very hungry. You have fresh and free enrichment for all your chickens and animals that will eat that kind of stuff. Thank you, Ben, so much for having me, man. Of it was course, an brother. absolute pleasure. Finally to meet you and do a nice little collab. I know the Caferos have been waiting for this one. If you guys have not checked out Urban Rescue Ranch, his channel is also down in the description down below, so go check that out. Again, if you want to see more of these YouTuber house tours, I will travel anywhere. Anywhere. All I ask is to smash that like button. Blow it up for Smash me. it! Smash it now! <laughs> Also, I might have to come visit you. You do need to come one visit of these me and days. maybe get some pigs for your ranch. You yeah. said you want some pigs. I got 26 of them. Maybe. I got a couple maybe rescues. I'll maybe I'll take all 26. I'm definitely not. Maybe I'll take, oh, can't wait. All right, all 26, we shook on it. You saw it right there in the video. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If Again, if you enjoy this, smash the like button for me. Subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Peace.